Welcome to Kari's Conscious Living. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Make sure that everything is just right in your room. You're going to lay down and try and be still and get ready to relax as you listen to the story. Let go of your day so far, even if you had a good day or a bad day. Just take a nice, big, deep breath. Let go of your day. It's time to relax. Okay. Heidi, Cherry and Vea had spent three days in Madagascar. Vea had been pen pals with a very good friend of hers, a lima called Feather, for quite some time. And they were lucky enough to go to Madagascar to be with Feather for three days. The cats absolutely loved the place and they really, really enjoyed the trip. Cherry wasn't so keen on the fact that all of the male lemurs were a little bit stinky. She said to Heidi, Why? I don't understand. Why? Why do they have to have so much smelly stuff all over the tails? It doesn't make sense to me. It's like they pong up the tails over and over and over and over and over again. And it's all like pongy and stinky and I don't get it. I don't get why they have to be so smelly. Who would want to be with a lemur if you were a female lemur? Who would want to be with a male lemur when they're so smelly? Heidi said, You don't understand. Lemurs aren't anything like cats. Lemurs, ringtail lemurs, like feather, well, the male lemurs have scent glands and they use their scent glands to attract the females. And what they do is... They think that the stronger they smell, the stronger they appear as a male, which is much more desirable for the females. That's how it works in their world. So having a smelly tail makes them more desirable to the females. What? said Cherry. OMG, I just don't understand. I just don't get it. Really? Feather? Really? Is that how it works? Do you really, do you really like the smell of them? Because I think they smell like a... Uh, what do they smell like? Well, I don't really know. I don't think I could put another name on the smell. Because it's a cross between all sorts of different smells that to me aren't very nice. Do you really think it's nice, Feather? Feather started to laugh. And she looked at Cherry and said, Actually, yes, we really like their smell. It makes them stand out more. We take notice of which one smells the best. Oh, said Cherry. So bizarre. It's just so, so bizarre and unreal. Do you know one thing that I do really like, though, that you guys do, that we don't do as cats, that I think we all should do? In fact, I'm going to tell all my cat friends when we go home that we should do this because I think it's really, really, really smart. I like when... You're all going somewhere in a group and everyone sticks the tail up so that they can keep track of each other. It's like you can all see each other because you can watch each other's tails. So even if you get like left behind or something, it's really easy to see each other because you're going to see like the stripy tails just bobbing around and, go- and going in a certain direction and all you have to do is just follow a tail. I think it's an awesome idea, don't you, Vaya? Mmm, me like that too. Me think it looks really sweet when you all have your tails up in the air like that. Me, me want to, me, can, me, can I do that? Feather said, yes, you can do that with us anytime. Practice it now if you want. We've all got to go over here. 
We have to go over here and make sure that everybody's safe before we settle down for the night. Because otherwise, if everyone is stranded all over the place, then they might be in danger. We like to keep ourselves together. We like to all come together in a troop. And we like to stay together. And I don't know if you've noticed, said Feather, but the females tend to run things around here. The females are very smart. So all the males just kind of listen to the females. Oh, I like that too, said Cherry. I think it's really awesome because, you know, females are smart. I don't know whether they're smart. Are, are we smarter than males, uh, Heidi? What do you think? Do you think we are in like all different types of animals? Do you think females are smarter than males? Heidi said, well, I don't think you can necessarily say that because some males are very smart. And I'm sure all different animals have different rules. But with lemurs, females take the lead, which I agree, I think is very, very awesome, said Heidi. Me too, said Cherry. In fact, this is it. This is what we're going to do. When we go home, next time we go out, maybe if we go to like Cat Club or something, we can show all the other female cats and all the other male cats how, how to stick together and not get lost in a group by sticking up your tails in the air when we walk anywhere because I think that's really, really smart. You know, there was one time that I went to uh, like a, a, what's them roller coaster places called? Uh, what are they called? You know, like uh, you, what? Oh, like Disney. You know, like if you went to Disney, uh, like a park. You know, like an adventure park or well, I don't know. Anyway, one time I went to one of those and I got lost, and and it's because no one had the tails up in the air. If everyone had stripy tails and everyone who was in my group was sticking the tails up in the air like you guys do, then I would have never got lost at one of those ad ad adventure parky things. Because those adventure parky things are always really, 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 really busy. And everybody, have you noticed? So many people can get lost in those places and it's like really scary. What if... One minute you're eating cotton candy and then next minute you're looking at a giraffe and then next minute you turn around and you can't find your mum or your dad anymore. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine how scary that is? Oh, it was really awful. Well, I didn't lose my mum and dad, but... Uh, well, I didn't actually... Re if I remember right, I didn't really lose anybody, but... I did, I did, I got, I couldn't see Heidi for like five seconds because it was so crowded, but then I saw her. But anyway, if I'd have really, really, really lost her and it and I'd have been really, really lost, like some children get lost at those places. Because what do you do? What do you do if you get lost at those places? Fea said. Well, me, me, me would just scream. Me would just scream really, really loud because if you scream really loud, then everybody looks at you and then... Then maybe your mum and dad would find you because they'd hear you screaming. Me would do that. Cherry said, oh yeah, good idea. Yeah, I've got a really good screaming voice. In fact, did you, did, do you know, guys, that sometimes I get told that I'm being too loud? Am I ever being too loud? I don't think I'm ever loud. Who would say that I'm loud? Why would they say that I'm loud? Feather, do you think I'm loud? You just met me in person. You didn't know me before. Do you think I'm loud? Do you think I talk too much? Do you think I say, do you think I say too much? And do you think I'm loud? Because I don't think I'm loud. Heidi said, let someone answer then. Feather once again started laughing because she thought Cherry was very funny. And she said, no, you're not really too loud, Cherry. You're just Cherry. I'm sure that's just the way that you are. I'm sure that that's just fine. You just be you, Cherry. Don't worry about it. Oh, thanks. You're so nice, Feather. I think, you know, if I come back, if I come back and I'm not a cat, then I think I'd really like to be a re I, I mean, I think I'd really like to be a lemur. I'd like to be a ringtail lemur, like, just like you. But well, actually, no. No, I wouldn't, because, no, I think you guy friends are very smelt. No. I don't want a smelly boyfriend. I want my boyfriend to smell really nice. Like, you know, like, uh, 
I don't know. Like, mm, like cotton candy or mm, like a cherry pie or uh, what else do I like? Uh, well, of course, I like tuna, but I don't think I want my boyfriend to smell like tuna. Mm. Uh, no, no, I don't want to be a lemur. I think I'd rather be a cat. Next time, when I reincarnate and I come back, I'm going to be a cat. But I think I might be like Heidi next time because I like Heidi. A well, I do like, but, mm, I don't know. Would I be like Heidi or would I be like Thea? Oh, I love them both so much. I don't know which one I'd be. Oh. When the cats got home from the Madagascan trip, Cherry talked about the trip for about maybe a week. She went on and on and on about how smelly the lemur tails were and how awesome it was that they all stuck the tails up in the air so that they could see each other when they were going anywhere so that they stayed safe together. She really enjoyed the trip, and Vea really loved seeing her friend Feather. Having a pen pal who she could write to, even though she couldn't see them very often, was a really nice way to have a friend, she thought. She always wrote letters and shared stories and shared her feelings, and her and Feather were really, really close, even though they lived so, so far apart. They were really good friends. One night they were all snuggled down in their beds. They were all getting comfy and ready to go to sleep. They were all doing the same thing. Just kind of twitching their whiskers. Moving their paws just a little bit. Until eventually they fell fast asleep. Cherry started to dream. In her dream, she was a lemur, a lemur called Thomas. Oh no, she thought. I've come back as a male lemur. And I'm really, really, really smelly. It was a funny dream. By the end of the dream, she actually understood that that just was the way that lemurs did things. And that actually, she smelled really, really good. Well, that's what all the ladies told her anyway. The end.